Hey parents, Mr. Jim here, and guess what? All of Mr. Jim podcasts, yes, I'm talking kids short stories, kids animal stories, biology squad, bedtime stories, all of them are now available on Story Button. Story Button is my invention that I invented to make it easier for kids to listen to podcasts, their favorite stories, off of screens. Parents, you know how it goes of putting kids to bed, maybe having to use your phone or an iPad to listen to stories. Well, uh, we want to put that to an end and make it easier for you all to listen to audio stories off of a screen. Story Button is a device that connects to your internet to freely access all of the great kids podcasts available in our library. Go to storybutton.com to learn more. And when you order today, you can save $20 and get free shipping at storybutton.com. Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. On the last episode, we began a mystery adventure. So if you haven't heard part one, you've got to make sure that you've listened to that first because it holds some very special clues into solving who is Arwen. What kind of critter are they? Arwen, Ben, and Abigail were off on a grand adventure. They'd flown out of their nest up in an old hayloft in a barn, past a very scary scarecrow, <laughs> and were just about to old Aldo the Wise when they heard a loud sound. Meow! Came from just below them. Ah! What was that? said Abigail. Something mad or scared or maybe old Aldo? Ben said with a very scared and unsure voice. Guys, there's no way that's Aldo, said Arwen. Just then they heard another sound. Crack! It was the sound of a small twig breaking underfoot. If these siblings were any other species, they'd never have heard it. But... Their super keen hearing and satellite dish shaped faces made this small sound resonate like a huge breaking branch under them. Wait a second. Satellite dish shaped faces? What kind of critter has a face looking like that? They all looked around below and scanned for anything this could be. Just then, below them, they saw. A four-legged furry black cat. He stopped and looked up at them as they perched on a tree right next to the field. Who's there? Arwen called to him. Hey, it's me, Black Jack. Uh, You scared me, he called back. Yeah, well, you scared us, said Abigail kind of angrily. Oh, I was just out hunting mice, but then I thought I'm gonna, you know, uh, maybe get caught up in the hunt with these guys hunting too, Blackjack explained. Oh, I see, I see, said Ben. Well, we aren't hunting. We still live with our mom. We're actually out looking for Aldo the Wise, Arwen tried to explain further. Aldo? Old Aldo at the abandoned barn? Blackjack asked. That's the one. Arwen said, You're brave. Uh, I'll give you that. He just passed these trees. You're very close. Uh, Good luck to you. You're braver than I'd ever be, Blackjack said, and in a flash, he disappeared into the darkness. All right, guys, uh, let's keep going, Arwen said. I think we're pretty close. She led the way through the tall trees. Just as they came to a clearing, tall, old, and very broken down barn stared right back at them. The top had a small dark hole and the three siblings knew that had to be where Aldo lived. 
and they started flying towards it. None of them said anything until they were just a few feet from the entrance. <sighs> okay, um, I'll go first. Uh, just smile and don't say anything mean, Arwen said and led the way. Got it, said Abigail and Ben. As they landed, they knew 100% it was the right place. Everywhere they stepped, there were old pellets. Wow, it's like a lifetime worth of pellets here, whispered Ben. What are they talking about, pellets? Do you know of any critters that make pellets? As they walked a few feet towards the back, they heard it. Woo! Who goes there? Woo! Aldo the Great stepped out from the shadows and came closer to the siblings. Ah, uh, hi there, m- 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 Mr. Aldo. We are from the hayloft just across the c- c- cornfield. We we don't mean to any harm. We just came to, um, to, uh, uh, why did we come here? We came here to introduce ourselves, whispered Ben. Oh yeah, we came here to introduce ourselves. Arwen was so scared as she tried to get out her words. Well, I don't get many visitors around here. Well, not anymore at least, Aldo said. We've heard great things about you, chimed in Ben. Well, I'm not great anymore. Just old and lonely. Aldo sounded a little sad. Well, sir, we've heard differently. Uh, Everyone from farms all around here say how wise you are. Abigail tried to encourage him. Hold on a second. We need to solve this mystery critter. Holy smokes, you might have a pretty good idea what this mystery critter is today. You think, maybe you're thinking of an animal known for being wise. What animal hunts at night, glides silently through the air, has amazing hearing, and leaves pellets in their homes? Did you guess it? An owl! Yes, this is a story about barn owls. These owls have heart-shaped white faces, dark brown feathers. They make their nests in man-made places like haylofts and barns. They're known for their silent flight and their ability to hunt so well at night. Arwen is an owlet with a lot of bravery, and even with old Aldo, she won't give up on making him happy. Haven't you heard how famous you are around here, Mr. Aldo? Arwen asked. Maybe, but... Nobody wants to be an old round and old grump like me anyways. Uh, Maybe you can come visit our family, then you won't be so lonely, Arwen said. Oh, that would be nice to see some other folks again, Aldo said. The siblings said goodbye, and the following night, old Aldo the Wise came to dinner at their hayloft. He seemed happier already, being together with others, and told story after story about his amazing life. Wow, what started as a daring adventure of these three siblings turned into a beautiful act of kindness and a new family friend. The End Great job, you listened all the way to the end. Wow, what an amazing adventure. Great job solving the mystery about the barn owl. Barn owls are pretty amazing creatures because, like we learned, they have silent wings as they fly, which allows them to sneak up on their prey that they're going to have for dinner in the middle of the night. Well, friends, I hope you have a super-duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!